and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Budapest here, capital city of Hungary, of course, in the center of Europe. I hope everybody is having a good week so far, being studious and staying healthy. Welcome members. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Beck John. Hi, Jai Neil. Good to see you in class, ready to start. And welcome everybody. Uh, to become a member of this channel, you need to click the join button beside the subscribe button. If you do not see that, just send me an email and I can give you further instructions and I'll show you my email in just a moment. This lesson is a task to writing class and uh, this question was sent to us by, I believe one of our members not so long ago. Uh, maybe that member will be here and they'll step up and say, yeah, that was me. Um, all right, uh, so of course, uh, the class as usual is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Definitely visit us there, check us out. And for general IELTS, visit us at gieltshelp.com. On both of those websites, we have loads and loads of materials to help you prepare and pass the IELTS exam. This is the academic website here. Click that big red button to join and you can use the code R4TYJ to get a 20% uh, discount when you do that. Uh, for the general IELTS, it's the green background. Click that big red button. Uh, to join us there. And again, you can use the same code for that discount. And if you have questions like how to become a member of this channel, if you do not see that join button, send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com. Hi, Ferdovs. Hi, Rajvir. I saw that both of you joined in in the last couple of moments. That's great. Um, so again, members, we're starting this task two today. Uh, we'll likely end up finishing it tomorrow. And then we'll have a reading class after this one where everybody can join the chat. That will be coming up in about 90 minutes. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Here we go with this question again. Uh, we have a question here that looks simple, but you have to be clever to write a good essay. So uh, here we go. It's IELTS task to writing, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Uh, people are more similar than they are different. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Uh, write at least 250 words. Now this is kind of an interesting question, certainly. And uh, it's a good idea to think before you write for this seemingly simple yet quite a complex question. I think it's one of those questions that people have been asking throughout the ages. Um, and uh, let's uh, start this off by paraphrasing the question first. So um, when you have a seemingly simple question like this, it's a really good idea to uh, paraphrase so you get some more ideas and you start thinking um, more deeply about uh, this question. Okay, so uh, definitely step one here, paraphrase. And paraphrasing should be accurate, so use synonyms and grammar or definitive, let's say and definitive, and grammar. Okay. Let's paraphrase, so let's make this our own. All right. Humans <clears throat> are more alike than they, than not. To what degree do I concur with this view. All right. And I see we have some paraphrasing coming up. Um, so Samuel says there are more similarities than differences among people, right, Samuel? Because it's 
With two, it's between. When there's more than two, among. So among people is more accurate. Uh, Rajvir says individuals have more similarities than differences. To what degree do you agree or disprove of it? Yeah, good. All right. Uh, that's a nice way, Samuel, to paraphrase it. That's a great second um, go. So Samuel says people are more identical than distinct. Uh, to what degree do you support or reject this notion? Yeah, I like that. So that's a nice way. It's some nice vocabulary. More identical than distinct. That's definitely some good use of vocabulary. I'll take a note of that. Uh, Ferdov says humankind is much more the same than they are dissimilar. Very good. Yeah, so that's again a good one. All right. So some more vocabulary uh, alike versus dissimilar. Yeah, interesting language, the English with words like dissimilar. Definitely. Uh, Janiel says individuals are more related than they are distinct. Um, yeah, that's good too. Okay, so we're moving along here. Uh, let's uh, really make some headway. So what's the topic? What are we talking about here? Well, fairly easy here, I think, to identify the topic and maybe even the controlling idea. Um, and again, it's more about really getting into it and visualizing and coming up with a good answer that's going to be our easiest path to a band nine essay that works. Uh, Samuel says the topic is humans. Yeah, people. Okay. Um, when uh, Samuel, when you're identifying the topic, use the original. Okay, so find the topic in the original question. And the controlling idea here, of course is more similar or more different. Okay, again, I'm using the original question. All right. So how should we start our planning? <laughs> okay, so that's, I think, a really good step here. Definitely planning will help us, I think, find the right path to success on this essay. So, of course, let's do some critical thinking here in the next step. This would be step three, right? Critical thinking means asking what, uh, why, and how about the topic and controlling idea. Okay. So here, uh, what would be the first question? So what do I need to ask? Yeah, Beck John, very good. Keeping it simple. Yeah, there's a very interesting acronym or expression um, in English. I don't know if any of you have ever heard this, but it's uh, K I S S. It's a uh, kiss, and sometimes we will say kiss. Um, and this means keep it stupid simple. Okay, sometimes the trick. Uh, to good writing, good thinking, good communication is just that. It's the KISS acronym, which is keeping it stupid simple, okay? So um, stupid is a strong word, but we use it in this case for sure. So it is the path to good communication and um, <clears throat> good essays. Okay, and yeah, an example of that is our first question is, what is a human? Okay, <laughs> so what is a human? And I think it's actually quite um, a common question uh, that we ask ourselves, right? So what are people? What are humans? So what is a human? What are people? Sure, I like what are people even more, so I'll take your note. So what are people? What are we? So Samuel says, humankind in general are beings whom we are in contact with daily. Mm, I don't know, Samuel. I don't know if that's the definition that I would find if I looked up human being in the dictionary. Okay? I'd think about it, right? So in this case, what would 
what do you think um, would be the definition of a person? So what would be the definition of that? Okay, think about that, visualize it. Um, imagine that uh, you're visiting another planet, Mars, and you're talking to a Martian and um, you're trying to explain to them what a human is. Okay, Samuel, that's pretty good. So it's an analytic, logical um, thinking being. Uh, can you expand more on uh, being? Okay, so I would say a human is a self-aware logical sometimes we're not always logical logical analytical uh, thinking so I wouldn't just say being what are we social we're all absolutely social as well analytical uh, thinking social uh, mammal with bipedal motion four limbs and willpower that's I think the best definition that would come to my mind okay so before you start thinking about where we live, Jainio, like we live on Earth, okay, that's further down the road, just stick with the human being. So what is a human being? So um, we're self-aware, so we know we exist, right? Descartes, the famous French uh, philosopher, said, I think, therefore I am. Um, that's our concept of self-awareness, that I'm truly here. Uh, we are logical for the most part. So if we see gray clouds, we assume that it will rain. So we analyze, we think. We're social. We're definitely in contact with other humans regularly, right? Um, we're mammals, right? So uh, we're sexual beings. We have male, female parts, and uh, we reproduce with live babies. And we have bipedal motion. Bipedal motion means that we walk on uh, two legs, okay? Dogs are called quadrupeds, quadrupeds. Uh, we're sentient, sentient. That means we're thinkers, yeah. Samuel, that's right. Uh, we have four limbs, so we have our arms, our legs, and we have willpower. So we wake up in the morning and we think to ourselves, today I want to do this and I will do that. So we have willpower. So that's kind of, without getting too technical, that's what I would uh, think a human is, okay? All right, um, so what would be the next question? What would be the next question? Okay, think about it. So these are the questions that you're going through in your mind very quickly so that you can get a clear picture of how to approach this essay in uh, an effective way so that you write an essay that works that's going to be an essay which is unique that the examiner will look at and say hey that's a great essay this person is not just thinking in english but they're also uh, very critical logical and providing a unique response yeah why do people exist rajveer i agree <laughs> the million dollar question right so why do humans exist? And what would be the answer to that? So why do humans exist? What is our purpose? Yeah. Why do humans exist? Okay. So these are the age old questions. What is the secret to life? What is the purpose of existence that philosophers have been playing with? You don't need the perfect answer. IELTS is not asking you for that. You just need to think about it, right? So why do people exist? Why do we exist? What's our purpose? What do you think? 
How would you answer that question? Again, think about it if you're stuck in a situation where you really need to answer this question. Like an alien from another planet comes to you and finds you, finds Jineel, and says, Hey, Jineel, you're human. Now I understand what you are. Why do you exist? What is your purpose? Okay, so Samuel says to be... Um, a part in the balance of ecosystems. Yeah, okay, so we're a part of nature, arguably. So to be a part of nature, to balance nature, yeah. So there's a lot of different ways to answer this question for sure. I'm really curious what you'll come up with. I'll give one as well. Um, <clears throat> because we have evolved into this state of existence. Through... millennia through uh, even more than that millions of years of environmental pressure and competition okay so that would be a scientific argument of course the religious one would be god created us okay so we could say that we were Created, possibly. Okay, so why do we exist? All right, sure. Um, we probably won't ever find the perfect answer for that, at least not in our lifetimes. So uh, let's go to the next question. What's the next question? Okay, I know a lot of you are thinking about this. Like, oh, really? I need to know why people exist to get a band nine on IELTS? No, but you need to be able to think about it. Okay. Um, the next question is definitely a really important one. So that's why you need to do this uh, critical thinking because um, you can't know for sure which of these questions will be the golden question that will help you uh, to answer this. So how do people live? Okay, now give me a nice answer for this one. So this is a, an, a question that you should be able to answer. And uh, this is one that you should be able to simplify and tell an alien in a clear way. So if a Martian comes to you and says, well, how do people live? Okay, then um, you should be able to answer that. So Samuel is asking a good question. Samuel says, are the examiners seeing the content and uh, linking the grammar in our passage. Samuel, the examiners are definitely uh, observing the content of your essay. So that's a good question by Samuel here. So Samuel is asking, like Samuel says, uh, I think this is what you're asking me, Samuel. So are the examiners evaluating the content and flow of our essay? And the answer here, Samuel, is yes, a big yes. Okay, yes. Uh, this matters a lot, especially for band seven to nine essays. Okay, so once you get into the band seven range, Samuel, the examiners expect that you know how to write a proper essay in English using the persuasive style or the uh, expository style. From seven to nine, what they're looking at much in a much more detail is the content. So what are you discussing and how well do you discuss it? So absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, so Beckjan says they live by breathing air. They consume food and water for energy. Yeah. So how do people live? They consume 
air, water, and food to produce energy and be active in daily life. Okay, that's a great start. Um, let's see if anybody's added anything to that. Okay. Um, so Samuel says, making the optimum use of resources to sustain life. Uh, they make decisions in the physical and abstract aspects of their own benefit. Yeah, sure. So they are constantly making uh, decisions for both physical and abstract goals. in order to fulfill their needs and wants and overcome challenges. They interact with each other to maximize their abilities. Okay, so something like that, that's what I would say about people, okay? So we consume air, water, and food to produce energy and be active in daily life. They are constantly making decisions for both physical and abstract goals in order to fulfill needs and wants and overcome challenges. We interact with each, with each other to maximize our abilities. And of course, we're constantly learning as well, humans constantly develop and learn through experience, right? Okay, good. So I think we're starting to uh, get clarity. Now, again, members, viewers, it seems like, you know, we're taking forever to get to this concept, 20 minutes. Obviously, in the official IELTS, you would not do that. So in the real exam, you would want to get to this... Um, notion or this idea in no more than five minutes. Okay. So a quarter of this time, but, uh, you know, I mean, here I'm discussing, I'm reading comments, I'm giving feedback. So obviously it's a lot more time consuming. Um, in the exam, you do this in three to five minutes. Okay. And this will save you time in the long run. Okay. All right. So at this point, you could go to some more critical thinking about the controlling idea. So we could start thinking about, you know, um, uh, what does it mean that we're more similar? What does it mean that we're more different? Um, maybe let's ask one more question here, um, before, so let's not get into too, too much about the controlling ideas. Let's just ask one more question. Okay. Uh, and this is the question I would ask. So before my thesis, my thesis is coming up here pretty quick. Okay. Uh, before I get to my thesis, uh, what question do you think I should ask? And Samuel is asking, what makes people similar or different? Right, Samuel? That's how I would finish that. Okay. So in what ways can people be similar or different? So how can we be similar and how can we be different? What would be the answer to that? What would be the simple answer? Again, it's the KISS mentality, right? So we're keeping it stupid simple here. So what are the most basic ways that we can be similar and that we can be different? So Natalie says we can be different in genetics and experience. Okay, good. 
That's very good, Natalie. That's very clever thinking. Okay. Another way I might put this is uh, we can be different physically and psychologically. Okay. That would be another way that I might state that. So we can be similar or different physically and psychologically. Okay. And of course, psychology is difficult to measure, so we could say psychologically or behaviors. All right. So based on our previous thoughts here about what are humans, why do we exist, how do we exist, what do you think is the easiest answer for a high band score for your thesis? Okay. So what do you think is the easiest approach? Okay. That's the question. So Beckjohn says choosing different option. Let's see who agrees with that. Uh, let me put it this way. So different, one, similar, two. Okay, so let's take a vote for all of our members who are in this class. So if you think that choosing different is an easier essay, write one. If you think that choosing that we are similar, then choose two. Okay, now remember the original question, students. Before you write your thesis, remember, people are more similar than they are different. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So if you say more similar, then you're choosing uh, two. If you're saying more different, then you're choosing one. All right, well, look at that. So Samuel uh, Beckjohn. Preeti and Jainil all said, and Shahataj all said one, and Rajveer says two, and Ferdav says two, and Natalie says two. So it's kind of a split decision, okay? And Parmar says two. Um, all right, it's interesting. I'm very uh, curious to see that, and I'm not surprised. This is, I think, why uh, one of our members sent us this um, question, because they were having... Uh, difficulty with it. I actually think this is the easier one. So um, now this one's tricky. Okay. So uh, yeah, I think you could write an okay essay fairly quickly about how we're different, but I think it's a bit more difficult to do that and it's less true. Okay. The one idea that comes to my mind to try to convince you about this is we're 99.5% genetically similar to chimpanzees, okay? So yeah, we have differences compared to other humans. We have different skin colors, heights, eye colors. Uh, we have different languages. There's certainly a lot of differences among humans as far as cultures go, um, physical, mental abilities go. But at the end of the day, we're about all 99.9% .9 the same, okay? That's why we can coexist. So if we had a lot of differences, we'd have a really tough time uh, living together. Even our slight differences sometimes make um, our coexistence uh, challenging, uh, but certainly we're very, very similar to one another, okay? So I'm going to try to prove to you that we're much more alike. Okay, um, <clears throat> and I was kind of hoping that some of you would come to that realization because at the end of the day, we all breathe air. We all need to drink water. We all eat food. We all want to eat delicious food. We all like a warm meal. We mostly all enjoy learning some information in life. Um, think about how, yes, there are differences, but even our behaviors and habits are very similar. We all go to school, we all get married, uh, we all grow old, 
we enjoy television, mobile phones in everybody's pockets. So um, we're a lot more alike than we realize. I think it's the easier essay. So let's go with that one. But hey, if you disagree with me and you say, ah, no, Adrian, I think there are way more differences than similarities, it's fine. Try that essay, okay? So what we're going to do this time, students, just for fun, and I really challenge you to do this, okay, is for this class, we'll choose number two, okay? So the thesis will be about more similar, being more similar, all right? So let's all do that for this class. Okay, and uh, for homework, uh, try the alternate, okay? Let's do that. And then you'll know for sure. How does that sound? Everybody good with that? So for our in-class, we'll do more similar. For, our, for your homework, you can try it on your own, send it to me. Um, we can do more different. Does that sound good? Okay. I think you can go either way on this. I don't think it's a completely uh, uh, one-sided decision here, but I think similar is a bit easier for a 250-word essay or a 300-word essay. Okay? Natalie says, some of our genes are even similar with the worms. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> but it's not just our whole gene pool. It's also our phenotype, what we actually show, right? Okay, so uh, let's write a thesis statement. Okay, I'm going to do that uh, while you do that. All right. Well, there's my thesis statement. And then while you're writing yours, we'll do the introduction parts. So the introduction starts with the hook. The introduction has three parts, which are the hook, background, and thesis. Okay. Again, remember, for the IELTS, you're looking for the easy decision, okay? the easy road to an essay that works. That's why this class is titled Writing an Essay That Works. So here is my thesis statement. Uh, although there's a great amount of variety among individuals, overall humans are much more alike than unique when it comes to physiology and psychology, okay? Uh, Samuel says, although people may differ in a myriad of ways, I believe that humans are united in that we are designed uh, similarly physically as well as mentally. Very good, Samuel, very synonymous to my thesis. A couple of grammatical mistakes there, just small ones, pay attention to that, okay? Otherwise, very, very good. Okay. And uh, should we use first person here? Let's check that out, Samuel. You're making me think about that. So um, to what extent do you agree or disagree? So yeah, I think, Samuel, you're on the right track uh, with using the first person voice here. So I'm going to change that in my thesis for sure. Make sure you take note of that. Absolutely. There we go, and I've just made that first-person voice. 
Okay. Uh, Rajveer says, I strongly agree that people are more alike than distinct as humans not only share certain necessities, but also various behaviors. Okay, Rajveer, great. So Rajveer, uh, it looks like you're going to have some different body paragraphs than Samuel and, or I, uh, but you could do that. So um, needs and behaviors, sure. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Ferdov says, although certain individuals ascertain that humans are dissimilar, I believe that people are much more the same in terms of living behaviors and physiology. Okay, not physically, physiology in this case for Dobbs. Living behaviors and physiology. Good, that works for Dobbs. Once you write the thesis, um, you can also uh, kind of figure out which one will be easier to do. So Beck John says, many individuals think that human beings are different from each other. However, I disagree as people have the same appearance and genes. Um, Beck John, I think appearance and genes are not unique enough because genes are responsible for appearance. So those two points, Beck John, Beck John are not uh, distinct. Okay. So same experiences and genes. Okay, or similar experiences and genes. That would work better. Okay, Beck John? So careful. Appearance, genes, that's like saying physiology and genetics. Physiology, genetics, that's kind of the same, right? Uh, Parmar says, although there are certain kinds of distinctions among humanity, um, most people are similar in their demeanor and physiology. Uh, Parmar, good. Parmar, don't use although with but together, okay? So, Parmar, when you start the sentence with although, that shows your contrast. If you use the word but um, at the uh, start of your uh, independent clause, then it creates confusion. It creates a double negative, so don't do that, okay? Yeah, Begjan, that's fine. Um, just work on that. Begjan, to be honest, in uh, the early years of my college and university, I also had that difficulty where I uh, came up with points which were um, similar or the same. So it just takes a bit of time and you'll get through it just like I did. Okay, just double check always in your writing, especially in university. All right, Janiel says, humans have more similarities than differences, many others, and I strongly agree that human beings exist uh, with similar uh, physiology or similar uh, physically and mentally for their needs and wants. Yeah, okay, Janiel, that works. So um, just an interesting note here before we get going further with the introductory paragraph. So uh, one way to identify which argument is easier for your high band essay is to write uh, both thesis statements, right? So maybe you write this one and then you attempt to write the other one where you say, well, although there are many similarities among people, uh, individuals have more differences because of their experiences and appearances, maybe. And then you can think about, well, which one will be easier for me to write about? Okay, so you can decide after. All right. If you get stuck writing one of the thesis statements, probably because that's the more difficult one. Is everybody clear on what I just said there? Because that is definitely one way to get your mind um, confident about which side or how you approach the essay. Definitely don't do a partially agree on this one. That would be um, catastrophic, okay? So writing a partially agree for this question would be a very weak and awkward essay, all right? Beck Chun says, yes, that makes sense. That's good. Okay. All right. Nice. So uh, here we go. Um, let's put the hook together now. Uh, give me a hook. So give me a statement 
that introduces the topic is uh, connected to this question in some way and is interesting, will capture your reader. Please keep it really simple, okay? So eight to 12 words, okay? Try not to go over that 12 word limit for the hook, okay? So again, your hook is eight to 12 words, catches the reader, includes the topic. Okay, so let's see what you come up with. Uh, so Ferdov says, humans are more similar than different. That's your argument, Ferdobs. Um, don't get into your argument. So um, with your hook, uh, don't present your argument right away. That can actually kind of uh, turn some readers off from reading. So do not uh, present the argument right away. Okay, save that for the thesis. So Ferdop says humans are more similar than different. Beck John says humans are the most powerful creatures on earth. Samuel says people have evolved over the years uh, to reach their current state. Um, yeah, Beck John, I read yours. Yeah, humans are the most powerful creatures. I'm not sure uh, if, um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of catchy. Uh, Parmar says humans have critical thinking power as compared to other creatures. Human being is the most understandable creature on earth. Okay. How about just a simple statement uh, about this? Where do you think, okay, let me try to get you thinking about a good hook. Um, why would someone ask this question, are we more similar or more different? So why, why ask this question? What's the, what might bring this question into existence? Samuel says humans are both unique and identical. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, those are okay. I would maybe start with something like this for the hook. Okay. There are over 8 billion humans living on Earth. Hmm. Okay. So just the sheer numbers, right? There are so many of us. It's interesting to wonder, with 8 billion of us on Earth, are we all the same? Are there 8 billion little creatures running around on this beautiful planet that are all the same? Or are they all different? Okay. So... There are over 8 billion humans living on Earth. Are those 8 billion little ants the same little ants, or are they all different? Okay. No argument yet, but definitely an interesting fact about the topic that will inspire the reader to be curious and to think, okay, well, what does, where is this going? Where is this factual statement going, right? Okay. So um, now uh, let's give some definitions. So let's give the background. So what are we talking about? Okay. So background, what are we talking about here? Use the planning for the background. Okay, use the planning for the background. There are, eight, there are over 8 billion humans living on Earth. So give me the background. Here I would simply just define human as to what we discussed earlier. So this is where you're really saving time. You're moving quickly because you should have this information um, in your mind, right? So remember these points here. 
Human is a self-aware, analytical thinking, social mammal, walks on two legs, has willpower, is a part of the greater ecosystem, um, consumes air, water, food for energy, makes decisions. So use that information. I know I could almost just copy paste some of that in there, but I would like to see some sentences. So put it together. Okay. All right, that's what I came up with. Rajvir says people are self-aware, analytical, and thinking beings and rely on air, water, and food for existence. Very nice, Rajvir. One small correction, Rajvir. Uh, take out the word human, okay? You don't need it because you said people at the beginning. And if I'm using human here, I'm trying not to repeat words as well, right? Uh, Begjan says humans are social mammals uh, that are highly dependent on natural resources such as air, water, and food. Good. Uh, you don't need the word creature, Begjan, because mammal is the noun. Okay? Humans are social mammals that uh, are highly dependent. Not highly, just simply dependent, right? So just a little bit more accurate writing, Begjan. Humans are social mammals. Uh, who or that depend on natural resources such as air, water, and food. Okay, good. Uh, Samuel says, people are cognizant mammals that play an important role in the ecosystem. Um, okay, then Samuel, you go into the argument. Don't do that. So you're comb That's almost your thesis, uh, starting with the while. So save that. Okay, students, keep the thesis and your background unique, all right? Don't mix the hook, the background, and the thesis together, all right? So this is my definition here. Each individual person consumes air, water, food for survival, walks on two legs, and constantly makes decisions in their daily lives using sentient thinking, okay? If I want to be a little bit better with my uh, punctuation here, I might consider a semicolon in this sentence here. Um, okay, so the importance of the question, why are we discussing it? So why do you think um, people... Uh, theorize or philosophize about the question of being similar or different okay why do you think so why is that uh, why is this question important and this is a question that's been critical for human civilization since the start of civilization if we think about it uh, so a lot of you who are going into social sciences, political science, psychology, sociology, studying history, you will uh, come across this question in many different forms uh, and be confronted by it. So are similarities more than differences? Why is that significant? How does that impact humanity? Why is it important? Why talk about uh, human similarities and differences? Okay. What's the logic of that? Why, why, would, why would humanity have such an importance based around this question? Natalie says, the origin, so do we all come from the same place? Yeah, 
So it could be, Natalie, so our similarities and differences um, may uh, be clues to our origins. Absolutely, I agree. That could be a part of the importance. Okay, think about laws. So again, I really want you to always think outside the box and be a dynamic thinker. So think about laws and think about how laws have changed and are still changing in many parts of the world based around this question. Okay. Okay, so I would say that um, arguably why humans are so interested in this question is because we believe that the degree to which humans are similar or different dictate our social interactions and our privileges. So uh, we can see this throughout history uh, based on gender, based on uh, race based on um, religious beliefs based on a lot of other factors that seemingly make us different um, we have created different laws and different privileges to govern uh, unique groups of humans differently so it's very evident that this is a big source of this question okay does everybody see that so do you get this part of this question's importance? Because if we're all the same, if we agree that we're all the same, then um, we will have much more unity in our mutual respect towards each other. And as the world becomes more global, that's actually what we see happening in the world today. So uh, these kinds of prejudices are now disappearing because we realize that, hey, Women are much more similar to men, and men are much more similar th to women than we used to believe in the past. Um, whether somebody is Caucasian or uh, of African descent or Arab descent or Asian descent, uh, we're a lot more similar than we are different. In the past, there were a lot of false ideas around this. Okay, it's So much so that our ancestors, some of them believed that other races were other species of human, which is just... We now know it's crazy, but at that time, they didn't know that, okay? So, uh, Ferdov says, many laws uh, reflect that people are dissimilar with giving uh, more privileges and opportunities. Okay, that's right, Ferdov, but be careful not to go off topic here, all right? So, um, here, I'm going to just stick the uh, thesis in at the end of my introduction, and then you'll kind of see the whole... Uh, paragraph come together all right okay and it's not that long so I made it fairly short but it has all of the key elements okay so here's the introduction there are over 8 billion humans living on earth each individual person consumes air Water, and some of you might say, well, Adrian, you got, got me for um, doubling up on words, so why do you do it? I shouldn't, so it should read like this. Uh, let's go again from the top. There are over 8 billion humans living on Earth. Each individual consumes air, water, and food for survival, walks on two legs, and constantly makes decisions in their daily lives using sentient thinking. The degree to which humans are similar or different dictates our social interactions and privileges. Although there's a great amount of variety among individuals overall, I believe that humans are much more alike than unique when it comes to physiology and psychology. Okay. 
All right, so uh, there you have my introduction. That would be your band nine approach that's going to work well for the essay. Um, it's got your reader interested and uh, they're clear that you're going to express how we're much more similar than dissimilar in our physiology and in our psychology in the first and second body paragraphs. And we will do that members together tomorrow. So start thinking about that. Uh, think about um, how you can uh, write body paragraph one, body paragraph two. Okay, think about the vocabulary. Um, Natalie, I'm glad that you're satisfied with that introduction. And again, that was very clever of you to come up with uh, genetics and experience. Absolutely. Okay, a lot of similarities there. All right, uh, everyone watching, I hope uh, that that was clear. Again, it's something you need to practice, especially for those of you who are planning to go to university in the US, Canada, Australia, you will have to write these kinds of essays at the university level. Um, and to learn the right skills for essays and for other parts of the IELTS, visit and join our premium packages, aehelp.com for academic, gltshelp.com uh, for the general. You're very welcome. Rajveer Bekjan, I'm glad that you picked up on that. That was good. Um, okay, so uh, for now, that's it. In 30 minutes, I will be back with a brand new reading passage uh, that we have in development for our new exam. So make sure to stay tuned. Come back in half an hour. I'm Adrian, signing out from Budapest for now. See you in a bit.